Hi everybody, my name is Sam Pedro and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be talking about a very influential and successful person who I've been reading and learning a ton about recently and that person is Naval Ravikant and so I want to share a little bit about who Naval is and also about this book, The Almanac of Naval Ravikant, uh, which I've been reading through. And this has just been a gold mine uh, of big ideas. And so I want to talk about this book about Naval and share a few of the things I've been learning um, as I've been reading more of Naval Ravikant's words. So if you don't know who Naval Ravikant is, he is a serial entrepreneur and an investor and has turned into kind of this philosopher. And so he's had a lot of business success. He's started or invested in dozens, if not hundreds of companies. He was an early investor in Twitter, also an early investor in Uber, and he was the founder or co-founder of AngelList. And in the last decade or so, he's kind of transitioned more, as I mentioned, into this philosopher. I found Naval on Twitter, uh, where I've been following him for a few years now. Uh, I've always liked his tweets. They're, they're thought-provoking. Uh, they're principle-based, a lot of ideas in his, um, in his tweets. And so he's been really well known for having these types of tweets and these blog posts, and he's done all these interviews uh, you can go watch. Uh, and each time I hear him speak or I read what, he, what he's posted, uh, they, they inspire me, they motivate me, and I, and I feel like I learn a lot uh, in a very simple way. And part of the appeal of Naval is just how simple uh, his, his teachings are. And part of it is because Twitter was the platform he was using to, to share out uh, his, his knowledge and his wisdom. And because of the character limit on Twitter, he, he really had to take these, these grand big ideas and principles and package them into a few sentences. But since it's such simple language, and it's packaged so well, it, I feel like you learn more from this really well thought out and well crafted um, descriptions of these principles that he's teaching. And so that really is the appeal of Naval. And I'll give a few examples and you can go look up some of his quotes. And I think you'll, you'll agree with me that the way he says it, uh, the simplicity, uh, even with that, it, it has a deep impact um, as you read it and, and as you think through it. As I mentioned, I, I had been following Naval on Twitter. I, I also subscribed to one of his emails, uh, his newsletters, and I've been doing that for a few years now. So I was aware of him, but I just found out about this book, which is The Almanac of Naval Ravi Kant. Um, I, I think, I can't remember correctly, but if you, if you find this book's website, I think you can read the whole book for free online. Um, if not, I'll put a link in the description where I purchased it from Amazon. Uh, but I, I think I alluded to this already, but this is really a gold mine of big ideas. I am flying through this book and I, I feel like I'm highlighting every page because it's just profound insights. It's these little nuggets of principles and truth, which are just uh, easy to, to pick and to, to understand. And so I highly, highly, highly recommend this book especially if you like big ideas, if you want to get inspired um, and you want to see the world uh, through a different perspective of someone who is kind of looked at as, as a thought leader um, today. Um, so go check out The Almanac of Naval Ravikant. Uh, how this book is organized, there's two parts. Um, part one is all about wealth and wealth creation. And then part two is about happiness and, and different lifestyle aspects. I really, really like part one, the wealth part. Uh, what he does is he kind of talks a lot about what building real wealth is. And I will say a lot, a lot of these ideas aren't really that groundbreaking or unique. Again, it's just the way he says it and the way he presents his arguments in very simple um, in phrases and stages. And, and it's easy to, to learn on, on the way he presents this knowledge. But he talks about wealth creation uh, kind of some of the big ideas there are, you know, don't rent out your time. If you really want to be wealthy, you have to own equity in a company. You have to build your own things, work for yourself, those kind of ideas. Uh, but he gives kind of frameworks for how you can go about doing that. And he uses this term, uh, specific knowledge. He says you need to develop specific knowledge. 
And, and what that means is each of us have some, some skill, some trait, some combination of personality um, that is unique. Uh, we have something we can offer the world that no one else can offer. And as we spend time trying to figure out what that offering is, um, we will develop it and get better at it. And if we can learn how to, I guess, sell it, uh, we'll be unstoppable because no one else can replicate what, what we bring. So I really like that idea. He, he did say no one can compete with you on being you. Most of life is a search for who and what needs you the most. Uh, and so there's there's a number of pages um, kind of built to this idea. And I love this idea of just figuring out what you can do. And it's all about self-growth, uh, you know, waking up each day trying to be better at, at that unique thing that you can do. And, and he also says it, it should come naturally. Each of us have these things which we are naturally attracted to. Uh, and, you know, in your free time, what, where, do you, where does your mind go? What do you want to do? What would your mom say is something unique about you? Uh, these are good places to start to think about what you can offer the world. So I really like the wealth creation section. Uh, it also talks a lot about leverage. And I think this is, I, I've read it before. Um, it reminded me of the four hour work week, which I, I read in high school. And so this idea has been around for a while, but again, Naval just says it so well. So when he speaks about leverage, you know, he talks about code and software. And if you, if you can learn how to code and, and do these kind of things, you can basically leverage yourself. So um, it used to be if you wanted to grow and scale your business, you needed to hire a bunch of people. You needed to buy uh, some a warehouse to hold your, your product, your inventory. But now with the internet and with code, I mean, it works while you sleep. You don't have to hire more people. And so he just goes into leverage and just how some people in this world uh, can take the same hour and one person gets one hour of work and another person can get 10,000 hours of, of equivalent work in one hour. Um, so it goes a lot about leverage. Um, also in the wealth part, he talks a lot about accountability and um, kind of your own building your own personal brand. But it's just a lot of great ideas in that section. Another part of the book is a lot about reading. And Naval is a great reader. He's been a lifelong learner, which I admire. And uh, he talks about, if, if you go and watch interviews of him, how he, he really spent his childhood uh, in libraries. And, and he was always reading anything he could get his hands on. And he shares some profound ideas and thoughts about reading as well. Uh, recently, I heard him say, you know, read the 100 best books over and over again. Uh, that idea that it doesn't really matter how many books you read, um, but just find the 100 best books out there for you and just read them over and over again until you really have come to understanding. And so he really preaches understanding, uh, not reading just to, to for reading's sake or just for vanity's sake to say I've read X amount of books but really to read to, for your own personal growth and for your own knowledge. And so for him, it might mean uh, just flipping through a book, getting the gist of the ideas in the book, and then moving on. Uh, but maybe another book really catches his attention and he spends days going through each chapter till he really knows uh, what that book is trying to teach him. And so I like his thoughts about reading. And so those are just a few things that I liked. I mean, I, I, ha I typed up all the notes and I've been, I've been reading through it. Um, I just, this book is great. I, I think if you were to, to pick it up, you would enjoy it. I highly recommend it. There is a lot to learn here. If you haven't followed Naval on Twitter or on it through his emails, uh, I recommend that doing that as well. Um, I, I've, they're just so thought provoking and, and I think it can bring a lot of insight and enlightenment into your life. And so if you have a favorite quote from Naval, uh, please comment below. I'd love to, to read those and collect those. Uh, but thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a like if, if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.